Hi everyone, this is Bobby from BN-Games.com and we're doing another Initial D Arcade Update. Uh, today we're going to install speakers into the cab. If you watched the other video, and I highly recommend that you do, we got this cabinet up and running, um, wiring it in a way that it wasn't meant to because this is the slave cab, not the master cab. Watch that video for more details. Um, currently at the moment, no sound and the tension motor for the steering wheel doesn't work. That's still not going to work. Um, I haven't been able to find a transformer or somebody who knows how to wire it. So I'm going to plug these speakers in. I just bought them. Uh, they're on sale because of all the Christmas sales. Into the cabinet. There's, um, it's actually being plugged directly into the Naomi. The Naomi has a left-right audio out. So this will accept that. And we'll have sound. So let's check it out. Um, so every time I plug it in, it requires me to... Um, go into the Naomi BIOS and uh, turn off the card reader and it's been kind of my uh, old Mac chair at the moment so every time I want to start this cab I literally have to uh, lift the chair up after it's powered on and loaded the game and then go into the test menu and do that. So we'll do that. But first I want to get these speakers set up. So the reason I bought these speakers is because I've been giving these to some of my clients at work. Um, and uh, they have been really good. They sound good and for the price as a 2.1 system it's pretty damn good. The only problem, and I'm going to have to figure it out here, is the right speaker uses what looks like a VGA. I know it's a little blurry. It's almost like a VGA plug which goes into the subwoofer and a certain amount of cable. So we'll see if this... My intention is to put it on the top of the cabinet on both left and right and run it down with a sub on the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure that's gonna work but we'll give it a shot. Well this is the way I originally intended them for them to be but I don't think this is gonna work. Cables are not that long. I'm going to see right now. Um, I actually have been playing this cab, even though I got it working. I haven't been playing with it because I can deal without the the motor for the steering wheel. I can't deal without the sound. Um, you know, I, I've joked that I bought this machine to be uh, for that one song, Speedy Speed Boy. I need that in my life. And I bought this machine just for the one song. It's not true, but, you know. Well, let's see what we can do here. Well, it's not elegant, but it'll have to do for now. I'm uh, gonna turn it on for the first time. This will have to be the solution for now. I'm using the box it came with to, came with to uh, hold it up, and I had to move the other candy caps uh, over a bit. So let's boot it up. First things first, got to plug it in. Might need to dust out that fan, it's loud. There's sound. somewhere. Now it's going to give a card reader error. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to go to the Naomi itself. Need to go to game test mode. Now. Okay, game assignments, that's right. Turn that off. Exit. Alright.
There we go. See how it's, well, it's gonna be hard to hear on camera how good it sounds, but. This is about half volume on the speakers right now. Just volume easily. All right, let's get to a uh, race now. It's been, jeez, it's been a while since I played it, so don't expect, don't expect professional play. <laughs> Subaru. Yeah, the thing is, I also have a card I'd like to use, but the card reader's not working. We got a test on my dad's, which, if you've been watching on the channel, uh, we've tested on his, it works. Mine's the one that doesn't work. Alright, we're gonna go easy here, just for this video. You can go in there and adjust how much the steering works. I turned up a little bit. I hope it doesn't blare. I can't, no way to test.
this needed sound big time. I couldn't play this without sound. It just... Yeah, I know, asshole. I got it. I understand. I have to be a prick about it. Alright, everyone. This was Initial D Arcade Blog, I think number six or seven. Um, I'll have to find a better solution for how to put the sub. Um, I might mount it to something. I'm not 100% sure yet. Originally, where the sub is now is where the point slot used to be. Um, you know, I'm not going to do that because this is on free play, but it is working, and uh, let me see if I can find a way to fix the steering wheel next. So, anyway, uh, keep watching. Uh, pretty soon, we'll be doing a video. The next uh, arcade update I plan on doing is going to be with Third Strike here. Um, Recently, Capcom announced the um, Street Fighter Collection 30th anniversary, and finally, we're gonna get uh, Portable's Third Strike. I've been wanting that. Why didn't it come out on the PSP? That, that just don't understand it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pit it up against the actual arcade machine. This is actual arcade hardware. It's a CPS3 running on the SCSI CD-ROM. I think it's CD-ROM. Uh, SCSI CD-ROM CPS3 version of Street Fighter Third Strike and see if I can notice any differences. Obviously, flat screen versus CRT, which is the way it's supposed to be done, but see if I can find anything else and, you know, put the next two together. Put my switch right here and kind of gauge, or try to gauge differences. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and let me know what you think. Merry Christmas if you're watching this on Christmas. Have a good day if you're not watching it on Christmas. See you later.